Hey you guys, it's your girl Kelsey, AKA The Shy Wonderless. Welcome to or welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am back with another video, you guys, and I am back with another 24 hour challenge slash hotel review. And as you can tell by the title of this video, today I am staying at Resorts World and I am staying on their Hilton side. I believe they have two or three different hotels within this one resort here on the strip but like i said i'm on the hilton side i am currently in a king bed a deluxe king bed and actually i'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys how much it costs because i typically talk about all of that at the end of the video if you watch my videos when i do the review and all that stuff um but i paid a total of 180 um for this one night i am staying one night it is a staycation for me again like i've said before i try to do this at least once a month these 24-hour challenges and hotel reviews um but i paid a total of 180 um the actual room um initially because i checked in early I, it is 11 o'clock i checked in early so my room initially was not supposed to be ready until four o'clock um but i have something that i need to do here uh within this challenge so i wanted to check in early so i paid an additional 25 dollars which was calculated within the total including the resort fee and everything so 180 um to get the room that i have now it's, it's still the same deluxe king room um, my initial room was supposed to be on the other side of the hotel this one is a strip view so i paid an additional 25 dollars um to upgrade the room basically and they waived my um my early check-in fee, which is amazing. Um, didn't even ask them to do that, but she did that anyway. She was really nice, the lady that checked me in. Um, but like I said, I am just getting here, just getting settled in. I'm actually about to change because like I said, I have something, an event that I'm going to. Um, I have to double check just to make sure it's still going on because it's actually at their day club. I believe it's called IU or uh, AU, IU, I believe. Um, which is basically their, their beach club, their pool club. Um, and it is a doo-wop event with Tank, um, the singer Tank, Keisha Cole, and also Maya. So, um, because this, this whole weekend was supposed to be Lovers and Friends weekend, of course, including Cinco de Maya, which I'm going to do something for that later as well. Um, but I'm trying not to get off topic here. Um, but I'm going to the doo-wop event, which is at the IU club. And it starts at 12. It's from 12 to 6. I'm not going to, you know, be there all day or whatever. Um, it is supposed to be a little windy today, a little ch on the chillier side. It felt pretty good um, when I was coming in here. But uh, because it's windy and, of course, if there's a pool involved, it's going to be pretty chilly. So I probably won't get in the actual pool. I will dress in my swimsuit. But... <laughs> Um, I probably won't get into the pool. Um, I do know, unfortunately, because the Lovers and Friends concert that was supposed to be yesterday was canceled due to the wind, which is honest. Honestly, I didn't I didn't get a ticket to go. But honestly, I think they probably could have still had it. Um, it wasn't that bad. The wind. I mean, I wasn't out this way because if you watch my videos and I, I live in Henderson and it's always a little bit less windy and a little bit warmer out that way for whatever reason that it is down here on the strip. But to me, you know, checking the weather and I don't I don't I don't think they could have I don't think they should have um canceled it I mean I know they were being cautious or whatever which makes sense and everything and I know it wasn't the you know the event um owners and the the promoters or whatever I know it wasn't wasn't their fault they probably had to sit it shut it down because of the city um but I know that since that had been canceled this particular event that I'm going to actually sold out um I, I bought my ticket earlier this week um didn't expect it to be as many people because typically i know when people come into town uh, from my experience when they do like an event like a huge event like a festival they come in you know they enjoy the event and probably the next day they go back home um but it seems like a lot more people are going here because they didn't, didn't get a chance to go to the festival but anyway i'm talking too much like i said i'm just getting just getting checked in just getting into my room so i'm going to go ahead and check out the room and get changed and walk around a little bit downstairs. I've been to Resort World, but I've never been in the hotels. Um, and I've never been got a chance to kind of really tour it. So I am going to do a little bit of walking around and then go and get in line to get into the day club. I hope it's not, you know, the line's not long. Like I said, it's sold out. So hopefully I get down there early enough to be able to get a good spot in line. Um, but y'all just roll with me. 
All right, you guys, I am dressed in my swimsuit and I am ready to go. I do have a cardigan on just in case it is really cold. Um, I have sickle cell, I'm not trying to have a sickle cell crisis in the middle of trying to have fun. So, trying to cover up a little bit here. Um, I do have on like some mesh pants as well and some sandals. So, hopefully it's not too bad, but y'all let's go, I'm ready to go party. Baby, you don't know what you do to me Between me and you, I feel a chemistry I won't let no one come and take your place Cause the love you give, you can't be replaced So go now, I'm what you do That's why I'm honest in my life with you I won't please you in any way I can I won't share my world, don't you understand? Hey you guys, I have officially made my way back to my room from the day club party at IU. I still think I'm saying that wrong, but at IU uh, Beach Club here at Resort World, Resorts World. And I had an amazing time. I stayed a lot longer than I thought I would, but I had a really, really, really good time. Um, that was my first day party, day club party, whatever you want to call it. It was my first time going to one and I really enjoyed it. I think I enjoyed it more than going to an actual nightclub because I've seen a few performances here um, in Vegas um, at a nightclub. And again, I just enjoy just being the outside part. Um, but unfortunately, because it did get extremely windy and pretty chilly, they actually moved it indoors to the nightclub part of it, which is Zook. Um, which was pretty awesome. Um, I had a pretty amazing spot right next to the stage, um, outside and inside. As soon as they opened the door, I was able to go. Uh, me and a few people that were around me, we kind of kind of zoomed into the club um, so we can get our spot back. Um, I did have a drink. The drink, um, it was pretty good. It was like a mixture of their mar margaritas, but it was kind of expensive. I mean, I mean, it's exactly what you would expect. It was $30 for the drink that I had, um, but it was good. And I did end up getting the water bottle, which was $14, I believe. But I was able to stay hydrated. And again, I enjoy myself. Again, this was a doo-wop um, R&B party, which they play all the R&B jams. I was jamming the entire time. Like I said, I had an amazing time. They did have the performances, like they said, um, by Tank, who is normally the host of the doo-wop event that they typically have um so far i think they i've only seen them here in vegas it was one that i was going to go to but i ended up missing it um a couple months ago but like i said tank performed uh, maya performed as well as keisha cole and they had a surprise pop-up 
quick performance by um, Jada Kiss, the rapper. Um, they had a few different people in the club, uh, celebrity wise, like in VIP and stuff like that. I think Mon uh, Mona Scott, I believe her last name is Young. Mona Scott Young, I think is her hyphenated name, um, was there. Um, Candy from Escape, as well as her husband Todd were there. Um, but it was fun. I had a really, really, really good time. I am tired, like I said, because I, I pretty much stayed the whole time. I stayed the whole time I got there, um, actually, which I really liked. I, it, like I said, I bought my ticket online uh, a couple days ago, so I was able to get in the uh, prepaid ticket line, and they had like a, the VIP cabana and stuff like that line. They had the prepaid ticket line, and as well, as well as the general admission guest list line. So I was able to get in the prepaid ticket line, which was extremely short. I was so ha happy about that. That guest list line, uh, which I think a lot of people probably end up getting on, on that guest list for free for the most part. But that line was so long. I'm so glad I went ahead and bought my ticket. And like I said, I know it's ended up sold out um, eventually um, or after a while end up selling out. But um, like I said, I had an amazing time. I am tired. I was initially supposed to go and grab something to eat um, at Viva here, uh, which is a Mexican restaurant here at Resorts World at six o'clock. I had a, a reservation actually. Um, but because I didn't leave the club until like 555, <laughs> um, I end up like before, like maybe an hour or so before I left, I end up pushing my reservation back to 7.30. So I wanted to be able to come up here to my room, relax a little bit, and then be able to take a shower, which I'm about to do right now, get out of this swimsuit. Like I said, I didn't get in the pool, but it was nice to be able to have on the swimsuit. I think you actually have to have on a swimsuit when you go to the beach, beach club. Um, it's an requirement when it comes to the um, what you're allowed to wear. Um, but anyway. I'm rambling. Um, like I said, I'm hungry. I'm tired, but I'm going to go ahead and take me a shower and go downstairs and get something to eat because I'm starving. So y'all keep coming with me. guys I am officially back in my room from eating at Viva downstairs and that food was absolutely amazing I had um, some tamal which was their vegan dish as well as some papas aka a little fingerling potatoes and it was absolutely delicious so delicious y'all I would absolutely go back there and I would get the same exact thing that's how good that food was but um, right now I am full and I am tired. My body is aching. It has been a long, long day. Um, so it is time, it's bedtime. It's bedtime. Um, of course, tomorrow, like I typically do before I check out, of course, I'm gonna get something to eat. I don't know what, else, what I wanna eat in the morning yet. I'm, I'm kind of bouncing back and forth between two different locations downstairs, um, but we'll see. We'll see what I really have a taste for when I wake up in the morning. Um, but of course, I'm going to come back um, after eating and everything and do my review of the actual hotel itself. Again, this is three hotels in one. Um, I'm staying in Hilton uh, Tower. They have a Crockford's and the... I can't remember the other one right now, honestly, you guys. I'll put it somewhere here. Um... But I'm tired. Yeah, that's how tired I am. I can't even think straight right now. I'm I'm so tired. I'm so worn out. I'm so worn out. But anyway, I will see you guys in the morning. Hey, you guys, and good morning. Today is day two of my stay here at the Hilton and Resorts World, and I am feeling refreshed. I am still a little bit tired. Um, I can see a nap 
in my future and later in today but i am up i am ready to go it is going on eight o'clock you guys um so i'm gonna go get something to eat i decided on juniors downstairs by the casino and i know juniors originates in new york they are famous for their cheesecake um, as a matter of fact last year i went to new york for my birthday and i had some juniors cheesecake for the first time and it was really good um but of course i'm going for graphics i think they open at six in the morning i believe not sure what time they close um but i woke up and i was craving either some pancakes or some french toast i'm not sure which one i'm going to get but i'm hungry so let's go y'all Okay, you guys, I have made it back to my room from going downstairs and eating breakfast at Junior's. And the food was really good. I ended up getting the pancakes, um, which came with a small side of peaches and like some like a cinnamon type of syrup which is really good as well the pancakes were amazing and also got a side of grits and the food was really good juniors has some pretty good graphics food um i would recommend i absolutely would so like i typically do i just wanted to come back quickly before i check out it is only 9 30 now but once i'm finished packing up my little bag um i'm out of here i'm going home to relax for the rest of the day. Um, like I said earlier, I see uh, a nap in my in my in my near future here today because um, I am still pretty tired. Actually, I did a little bit of walking around after I ate. Um, I wanted to try to kind of walk that food down a little bit, and I forgot how big this daggone casino hotel resort is. It's huge. It's huge. It's like you got the three hotels and one plus the casino plus they got like a little miniature mall back there it's it's big so um i am tired myself out again especially after of course eating um that already gives you kind of the itis feel after eating but like i said i wanted to walk some of that off but i'm getting off topic here i am back on this video before i check out to give my review of resorts world and i want to talk about every aspect because this was a 24-hour challenge and when it comes to this 24-hour challenge if you've never seen one or if you've seen my haven't seen my other 24-hour challenge videos i tr typically try to make sure i stay in the hotel i'm entertained here and i eat here i don't step foot out of the hotel for any reason whatsoever um when i'm doing these 24-hour challenges so i'm gonna start with the stay the room was really 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 nice it's nice and cozy and quiet in here and it smells amazing that bed is comfortable i had a king size uh premier king i believe um no no it's not premier i'm i'm mixing it up with another room uh it was a deluxe king um but it was a strip view i got the view of the very very end of the strip of course if i was on the other side i would have had the opposite side of the strip but i have the uh circus circus here um, the stratosphere, Circus Circus, you can see the Adventure Dome is right here behind the hotel, as well as a little bit of Fountain Blue across the street. Um, but like I said, the stay was really, really nice. The room is nice, it's clean, and it, it's pretty upgraded. I know Resorts World is not that old of a hotel, so the rooms are pretty nice. They keep them nice and clean and upkept. And, updated um i'm not sure if they have actually updated them because i don't think they need to be right now like i said resorts world is not that old of a hotel i can't remember exactly how long ago it opened but i do remember what it did i was not living here then of course um but i was visiting and i do remember when it opened um i remember they used to have this amazing um vegan ice cream place that I actually walked past where it used to be and it's no longer there um i kind of miss it but it was good um they have some other type of restaurant there i can't remember the name of it but anyway the stay i would say was a nine out of ten um and it's not a ten out of ten because I think the walls are a little bit thin. When I say it was quiet for the majority, about 99% of the time it was quiet, but I had actually happened to get up 
um, at like three in the morning and I used the restroom and I heard like, it's not like a couple were like either arguing next door to me or outside of the room. And they were arguing pretty loud. Um, not to the point where I, you know, I was able to use the bathroom and get back in the bed and go back to sleep. Um, but there was no issue with that, but I could hear them. You know, I've had rooms where you can't hear anything outside of the room. Um, so other than that, it was a very, very, very nice day. The food was really good. It was pricey, but I keep saying the same thing. If you're going to come to Vegas, you better be prepared to not only pay for the hotel uh, resort fee, unless you can get that waived. You want to make sure you budget for food because food is pricey here on the strip. I cannot stress that enough. It is pricey. It's good but it's pricey. Um, sometimes I will recommend getting off the strip if you can rent a car, Uber, um, go to some of these local restaurants. They're affordable and they're really tasty, but the food was good. Um, so I would give the food about an eight out of 10, um, maybe a 7.5 out of 10 based on the, on the pricing. Um, it was a little bit pricey. Uh, the entertainment, the club that I went to, the day club, it was fun. I had an amazing time. The drinks, were expensive they were tasty but they're expensive so i would give that experience and the fact that it was chilly outside which was nothing that the casino could do with uh do about but it was chilly and windy so they were able to move the day club into the nightclub the um iu day club into the nightclub the zook um for the party the doo-wop party that i went to yesterday but it was still fun it was a very nice club as well on the inside it was a nice day club nice uh indoor nightclub as well so that was nice so i would give that um i would say an eight out of ten based on the of course the pricing of the of the drinks um but it cost me thirty dollars to get into the party which was not bad at all when it comes to you having so many different um entertainers um there to perform so it wasn't pricey at all i do know a lot of people were able to get in um on the guest list but again that guest list that line was long um i didn't want to um even imagine myself having to stand in that long line to get in um not have a nice place to stand to see the the artist perform um and then already be tired before i get in the club so i was glad i was able to purchase before they actually sold out because i think they actually went up to like $50 at the door, I believe. Um, but anyway, getting off topic, I enjoyed that. Um, when it comes to other shows like um, Search of Soleil and stuff like that, I don't think Resorts World has any of that, but they do have like a lot of concerts and comedian shows and stuff that they have in their theater. Um, I didn't get a chance to enjoy any of those, but um, I may come back to enjoy one of those. Um, I believe, I think Kevin Hart is coming back in July. Um, he'll be here. And they, of course, they always, the nightclub and the day club always have DJs and performers and stuff like that. So you're good on the entertainment side. I didn't get a chance to um, get into the pool um, at the day club or their regular pool, but I did go out and walk around at the pool area. It's nice and big. Today, I went actually um, after I ate this morning. Um, I did already, you probably saw a little bit of the clip already of the pool, um, but it's a very nice pool. Definitely if I stay here again, I will check it out. Um, as a matter of fact, I will stay here again. I will. Um, but that pretty much covers the, the entertainment, the stay and the food. Um, so overall, I would give this entire casino um, probably an 8 out of 10. I enjoy my stay. It's nice. Um, it has an affordable, luxury, bougie. I say that about a lot of hotels, but it has an affordable, luxury, bougie feel to it. And I like it. I think a lot of people it would enjoy it. Um, to me, Resorts World with the design and everything, how they have everything set up, I would say it's kind of the hip hotel a little bit. One of the hip hotels on the strip, you have the, you know, the luxurious, extremely bougie, expensive hotels. You have the more affordable ones that are good for kids and stuff like that. But this one is, I would say, I would kind of match this one a little bit with um, Cosmopolitan, I think. I think I will match this uh, with, because of course, with the Cosmopolitan, if you've ever been there, it's a little on the darker side with the design. It kind of feels like you're walking through a very huge nightclub. You don't get that feel here, but it's still hip 
and happening at the Cosmopolitan just like it is here. So that's my overall review of my stay here. So I didn't want to talk too much about it. I, I just want to recommend um, anyone to stay here, give it a chance. Um, like I said, they have three different hotels in one. Um, they have the Crockfords, they have the Conrad, and they have the Hilton. I think the Hilton is the more affordable one. Can't remember between the Crockfords and the um, Conrad, which one is the more expensive. But you have your choice, you have your pick when you hear, when you get here, which is really good. Um, but I'm getting ready to finish packing up my bag so I can get out of here, so like I said, so I can go home and chillax in the bed um because i am still pretty tired it was a long day yesterday um so i'm just going to end the video here and i want to thank you guys so very much for watching my video i hope that you like comment subscribe and share and when you subscribe please hit that notification bell so when i post some videos you guys will be notified i hope god blesses all of y'all i love y'all deuces